Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm here with Lara and I'm going to show you Sumigayashi, right? There's lots of different ways, but I have a very specific way that I like to enter it. And the reason why it's so specific is because it fits part of my system. And when I'm in that position, every now and then, that is my timing to go for it, right? I don't always go for it. I don't always try to force it from different positions. Uh, it has to seamlessly integrate with the overall system that I do, right? So a lot of the time when I'm fighting, left side of the opponent, and they have their hand over the back, and they're controlling this elbow downward here, right? And then there's this nice strong frame and barrier, and they're controlling my posture, right? This is a good timing for me not to fight and engage in this classic right side versus left side, because look, I'm already losing, right? Good control about the body, strong frame, right? If she has a sleeve, the pulse didn't pull, she turns my shoulder, and now this is sort of a horrible position for me in. I just felt like I was about to get thrown. So, when she has this position downward here, okay, I want to sort of disengage and not fight for the sleeve. I'm going to address this arm first, okay? I'm going to grab this uh, forearm here, and I'm going to bring my shoulder to the outside of the arm. It puts a lot of torque on that shoulder, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of torque on that shoulder, and then look, I pass this arm through. Now I'm in this two-on-one position. Really important, you have a good head position. And from this position, I like to sort of set up my series for the uh, Sunday All right, first, I want to attack that front leg. Go for that OG, okay? Uh, you'll never throw anyone good with that OG. But it's a nice attack because it brings this foot and it takes and attacks that challenge and forces this front leg away from me, okay? OG, all right? Now I'm in this stance here. I'm gonna sit to my left butt and I'm gonna bring my knee to my chest and go across the body. I'm gonna pull her onto the leg, kick over, I high leg through, and now I'm in this top position. Right? So get it from the other angle. Good control downward. Okay, it's a nice strong posture up. Okay, this is trouble for me. Look, shoulder pressure. Shoulder pressure, clear that arm. Okay? OG. I sit to my hip. Knee goes up. Kick through into the sumigaeshi position. Now, that technique alone, right, might not help you. Because right? so you're really ever gonna get ochi sumi perfectly like this. Boom, pass. Sometimes, you have to reverse it. I fake the sumi, there's that leg coming forward, and I'm attacking ochi to that lead leg. Right? Once you have this, so I want a lot of pressure on that shoulder. A lot of pressure on the shoulder. Ow, ow, ow. I clear it, okay? And now I could go here, sumi. Ochi, right, I could go far leg kochi. If you're capable of doing uh, leg grabs in your rule system or your grappling system, you can go cross body kochi and then like that, ankle pick, right? Really nice, safe series because you have a two on one and you're behind the person. Right side versus right side now. Right, right. She loves the sleeve. Done zone. Oh. I'm not going to go cross body and go sumi to the opposite side. Because I don't do the opposite side there. Right? But I want to be able to hit her with the sumi gaeche. I know she prefers the sleeve. I'll bait it. Come get this. Whoa. I go cross. Now look, I clear it. And I go around the back here. Okay, I have to hug this arm tight to my body, right? If you think I'm gonna go for Ochi here, you are crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna go Kochi first, and then look, I go here, and I go Sumi here. Okay, I can go Ochi as well, Sumi, right? Because she's right sided, that lead leg is right. Look, I go Kochi leg pick as well. Okay, really nice and simple. Great little series, right? We bow. I know she likes to sleep. Come get it. No. Here, Sumi, Ochi, move it. There's my son. Kicking through, and now I'm down. All right? There's a lot of people who do Sumi straight from right, 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 right over this position, or they just like to go over the back and control the shoulder. The way I do Sumi, right side versus right, right side versus left, left I always like to force this two-on-one situation, right? And just dropping Sumi, 
generally is not going to be enough. Right? You have to be able to attack Ochi. Like that. Ochi. Hey, Sumi. Kochi. Kochi like that. Sumi. Ochi. Sumi. Hey, Sumi. Ochi. Kochi. Ah! <laughs> This sort of thing is good because then you're bombarding your opponent with attacks. They have no idea which direction you're going to go. And in the entire time, if you're able to force this position, you're essentially behind them, right? And then every now and then you can do one of these guys, you know, right? You just do, just dump them, right? So that's my Sumi Gaesha Uchi Kochi system. I actually did a video on this with Judo BJJ Fanatics. Low risk judo system for BJJ, and this is a huge component of it. So if you want to learn this system in a much more structured and detailed way, please click on the link below. Of course, as usual, please subscribe and like, right? As you can see, the dojo is closed. And this is the only way I'm feeding myself. And I want to stay big. I don't want to lose all my muscle mass. Okay, it's very important to me that I stay big and strong. So, yeah, help me out. <laughs>